I want to do a quick video today on the heart of the Creator. And I'm going to do this for the most part even without scriptural references. And I'm going to let you, the viewer, look for your own scriptural, scriptural references. And that's the heart of the Creator, or the heart of the Messiah. His heart is not like ours. His thoughts are not like ours. But we are to still emulate His thoughts. We are to learn from Him. And the problem is we are coming out of Babylon. And Babylon has taught us so many things and saying so many different things are wrong that He says are right. He'll actually impose obligations on us that our society says are almost criminal in nature. And in fact, they've made criminal what he has put in as an obligation. Now think about that for a moment. You know, none of us coming to this faith has any understanding of the heart of the Creator because we've been brought up in Babylon. We've been living in Babylon. We have to get out of that mindset. And, you know, I was looking at a couple words today, doing a word today. Actually, um, last night as I was just about waking up, I started thinking about a couple of different words that I wanted to look up today. One was pity, which is the word chus, and one was duty, um, which is a very difficult one to look up because duty is associated with something else. Almost every time it's used, it's associated with something. Um, but there are all these words out there which are alien to our thought, and yet that's what he's telling us to do. And I think this is kind of the next step and you know from those of us in our faith is to move towards really separating ourselves from Babylon of getting to these extra things now again most of them are not going to have a bearing to us at least at, in our present age um, you know marrying your brother's wife if he were to die and y'all were living together we don't have that at this present time but it will be happening as we go back to the kingdom. And these thoughts, while they are totally an alien to us, beyond alien to us, they are still part of his heart. And that's what we should be striving to do, is to follow his heart. Just a thought.